Hey guys, I'm back today for my empties. Hopefully uh, the last video that went up was my Project Pan update um, because I'll be talking about Project Pan stuff in here as well. Um, I'm filming this early because I thought I've got makeup on, I may as well film. So let's go through the products that I've used up in the last month or so. Um, and yeah, what I tend to do is just run through the products, let you know what I thought about them after using them all. And uh, it's quite simple really. All right, this month there was mainly skincare and like fragrance stuff. I don't know how I went through so many candles and fragrance things. I think it was just one of those instances where you've had a lot out and they've all burnt down to a similar level and then you finish them all at the same time. All right, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is Glass House. I've actually got, no, one Glass House, that's all right. Um, this is actually a Christmas candle. It's actually for this year. I got this ages ago um, at like a preview thing. And this is the Night Before Christmas Dancing Sugar Plums candle. Now, um, I like it. It's a nice scent. It's sort of, I don't even know what the notes are, but it's very floral and it's also got like a citrus kind of scent in it as well as that sort of sweet plum. I don't know, I like it. I just think that this one, um, this scent, and I find the same goes for, for their Christmas releases generally. They seem to be more muted in the scent than their permanent destination range. So I love Glass House, they're my favorite candles, but I keep going back to their sort of destination fragrances or even their like um, sort of Halloween ones, something, because those scents tend to be a little bit more stronger than these, but I am gonna go back and smell more holiday stuff um, that, are, that are being released now um, because if there's some cool, strong scents, I'll buy them. But this one was a little bit subtle for me. Hmm. So yeah, good quality candles and I love Glass House. I keep repurchasing them. I've got one up there. That's a Glass House candle there. Uh, but that scent didn't permeate my house as much as other scents from their range. Um, I also used up this, uh, this is the Wood Wick candle in, um, Sunset Beach, Tropical Cooler. I don't know, I've had this since Christmas. So this I've had for a long time. It's one of those um, Woodwick candles that crackle. Um, and I did like this. Um, I think the scent was nice. It was sort of like soft and sort of beachy, breezy, uh, which was nice and sort of fresh to have. The crackling was nice sometimes, it irritated me other times. Sometimes I'm like, look, I just wanna smell you. I don't wanna hear you. And then other times it was sort of like comforting in winter to hear the crackle. So um, I don't know, this did take a long time to burn. So that's great about this. Like the burn time was fucking forever. I don't even know how long the burn time is, but it went forever. But I don't like the scent throw of these and the quality as much as Glass House. So uh, I got this as a Christmas gift. So that's why I used this up, but I would prefer to spend my money on Glass House. Speaking of Glass House, I used up a hand wash. This is the Saigon Lemongrass one. This was really nice. I love lemon lemongrass. Lemongrass, it's very sort of fresh, but also um, sort of plant-like. Yeah, it sort of has that sort of lemony scent, but it's not too overpowering citrus. It's sort of like a little bit herbal. I like this, I enjoyed it. Good hand wash, no complaints. Would I repurchase? Maybe, I, I tend to not spend too much money on hand washers unless they come in like packs with candles and other stuff. So yeah, if you really like nicely scented uh, hand washers and body lotions and stuff, it's a good brand. Um, but yeah, I sort of prefer to buy them in gift packs. So it's better value. Mm. Then I used up from Circa Homes. This is the Fresh Linen um, Diffuser and Fresh Linen smells so nice. I love it. I love fresh scents. I love sort of beachy scents. I like salty beachy scents. I like fresh linen-y scents. I think they're really beautiful. This I don't think was as powerful as I expected it to be, but it does smell nice and it did work. I had this in my kitchen. It lasted a few months. It was nice. I probably wouldn't repurchase. I'd prefer to go for a candle where I'm like, oh, I want smell now. Light the candle, get the smell, blow it out when I don't want it. Whereas the sort of subtle diffuser thing, I don't think it's really my cup of tea. Oh, had another candle. See, I'm using up a lot of candles. This is a little one. This is the 1642 um, Mason and Balzac. This was a really subtle candle. I liked the little jar. I think it looked really classy. This looks like something that you can put on like in a nice, beautiful modern bathroom. But I didn't really notice when I had the scent, like when I had it lit, I couldn't really smell much. It was more for like the atmosphere. So I probably wouldn't repurchase these, but I will keep this little glass jar because I think it's a cool 
little glass jar. This could make a really big shot glass. Hair products. Okay, I used up the botanicals. This is the Fresh Care Camellia Smooth Ritual Shampoo and Conditioner. These are by L'Oreal. I actually really like this range. This sort of like, um, I don't know, like a leveled up sort of shampoo and conditioner range. They have one that's, uh, they've got one that I saw that they've been advertising that has coriander. I'm so tempted to get it. Um, but to be honest, I also had the smoothing balm or a leave-in conditioner that I haven't touched. This has a bit left in it because I stopped using conditioner. I started using like leave-in conditioners. So this has a little bit left in it. Uh, this is completely done. I quite liked it. And I also like that it's got no silicons and parabens or colorants. So if you do have like color treated hair or if you have keratin treatments and stuff like that in your hair, um, you can use these ones, which are good. It's hard to find some that have like no silicons, no parabens. Um, and this is one that you can get that's relatively affordable. I do want to check out the coriander one. I'm one of those people that like coriander. Not everyone does. I do. Um, I would, you know, consider repurchasing the shampoo. I wouldn't do the conditioner because I don't use conditioner anymore. But um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I didn't mind it. All right. I used up from Philosophy. This is the Melon Daiquiri um, Shower Gel thing. This is like, it doesn't have a name of what it is because it's a shampoo, shower gel and bubble bath. So you can use it as everything. I just use it as a shower gel and I really did like the scent. It smells really sweet, a little bit obnoxiously sweet and it smells a little bit like melon. Uh, it, it's a little bit sweet and tacky for me, but I didn't mind it. It's just that I wish it was a little bit more fresh. Um, but if you like really sweet sort of melon scents, you might like this one. Um, it lasted a very long time, which was good. I don't mind the uh, body shower gels, that's it but I do find that they're a little bit pricey. So if I saw some on sale, I'd pick up a few. They're pretty good, um, but yeah, that was that. All right, I used up from Neogen uh, this cleanser. This is the Real Fresh Foam Cranberry. It's weird, it's got like these cranberries down the bottom and um, I actually have a little bit left. This actually came out of the bottom part. So uh, the pump bit only goes down to above those berries it's like a separate section um and all this liquid was in there and i couldn't get it out but since this has been sitting there for about a month like this it's now come out so i've got a little bit left so i need to decide if i want to use it but this is a nice sort of like foaming cleanser some people really hate the scent you assume that it's going to be cranberry because it's got cranberries in it but i don't know just cleanser ingredients sort of smell oh i got some on my lip classy so if you're expecting cranberry scent from this and you want it to be really sweet, um, you probably won't like it. But if you just wanted a basic cleanser that works reasonably well, I didn't mind this. I didn't love it though. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but it's not bad. It definitely works. I like these sort of foam cleansers. I know there are different types of this as well. So maybe I'll try a different one in the future. So I didn't dislike this. I didn't love it. I just liked it. So um, it's not one that I would actively repurchase. I'd probably try to find other ones that interest me more, but you know, it worked fine. I had a relatively enjoyable time using it. Oh, I really like this product. So um, I used up the Dermalogica. I've got another Dermalogica product in here as well. This is a Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel Cream. So it's a night uh, sort of like an overnight mask. It's a gel cream formula. So it's like a, let's see if I can get some out. Oh yeah, I got a little bit out. Anyway, you can see that it's like a thicker gel and it works as a, you can see it's like a jelly, um, but it sits on the skin like, yeah, like an overnight mask. Very, very hydrating. Um, it's got a little bit of lavender in it. So if you don't like lavender, um, you won't like this. I generally don't like lavender. It's a scent that really gives me a headache, but I thought that this was a nice amount where it sort of like uh, calms the mind. Lavender doesn't do anything for the skin. In high quantities, it irritates the skin. This didn't irritate my skin at all, but I did find that it was nice and calming to go to bed to. And if, that, if you like lavender scented things to fall asleep to, you'll like this. But I really liked it. I think it was a nice gel night cream mask product. Um, it hydrated really well. It sunk into the skin really well. It felt really nice. I liked the pump mechanism. Um, 
Give me more. My hands are dry. I've got some other products like this in my bathroom right now. I've got the Laneige like night mask. I've got one from uh, Innisfree. So I've got some nice little Korean brands. Um, and I actually reached for this over those. So I liked the pump mechanism more. So instead of like opening them and scooping it out with your finger. I also liked the lavender. It was nice and calming. And I just thought this was really nice on the skin. So I would repurchase this, but I understand that a lot of people that don't like lavender won't like it, but I'd say give it a try like in store because I generally don't like lavender, but I did like this. So I would repurchase that. Another thing from Dermalogica, I used up the Hydra Blur Primer. I've talked about this quite a few times on my channel and I actually have backups of this. So this is a primer and it's sort of like, I need to see if I can get some out, a tiny bit out, yay. So it's sort of like um, this consistency, whatever this is, it's sort of like silicon sort of consistency where it sort of blurs your pores, but at the same time, it feels like a nice skincare product that hydrates your skin as well as blurring the pores. So I liked this because it sort of felt like a pore blurring skincare step, which I did like. I think it sits nicely under makeup. It makes your skin feel really nice. And I do have dehydrated skin and oily skin. So something that sort of hydrates, but also makes your makeup look nice, I'm down for. So I really like this. It's probably one of my favorite primers. And I'm glad I've got a backup because I enjoy it. I used up a Bioderma. This is a micellar water. It's the um, sebum one, so it's for oily skin. I like it. I've got backups. I do actually like Bioderma specifically. I do have some other brands that I'm currently using, like La Roche-Posay, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I always go back to Bioderma because I find that they're very gentle. They're not irritating. They don't have a lot of fragrance in them and um, they just work really well. So um, I do have backups of these. Used up a sheet mask. This is from C, no, it's from Lonvitalite. Uh, it's a C2 collagen firming and moisturizing mask. Uh, it was nice. I didn't see a great difference, but it was a nice mask to use. It wasn't too wet and drippy. It was sort of like a like a thicker cream rather than a liquid and it just you know sat nice i probably i don't i've got so many sheet masks and i need to use them i'm just trying to force myself to use them but i keep forgetting so uh, i liked it i probably wouldn't repurchase it but um it was nice enough onto the products that i used up from my project pan i used up my chloe fragrance this was the rose one so it's like rose de chloe or something i don't even remember doesn't even have the name on it, but it was, wait, 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 Roses D. Chloe. <laughs> Close, I missed adding an S. Um, but I like this, I wouldn't repurchase it because um, I have better sort of floral fragrances that I like, um, but I did enjoy this and I liked the bottle, it was nice. I wouldn't repurchase it though, but it is a nice sort of uh, soft floral rosy scent and normally I don't like strong florals, uh, they give me headaches, but this was nice. So yeah, I, I liked it. All right, so also for my project pan, I used up a little liner. This is a Rimmel Scandalized Cold Kajal pencil in brown. I, this is my, I think, second or third that I've used up and I have repurchased it. So I really like this. I think it works well on the waterline. I've got a black one on today. These are great drugstore um, sort of liners for your waterline because they're very creamy, but they're very pigmented and they do last really well. So I enjoy then lastly from my project pan is this brow product. This is from Eye of Horus and it's the Dynasty. I think it's the Dynasty Dual Brow Perfect. So it's like the medium brown one. On one end, it had a brow pencil that I used up and on the other end, it's got a brow gel. Now I was trying to use up the brow gel in my project pan as well as the pencil, but I found that um, it doesn't, it annoys me. It's a good brow gel where it does set your brows well, but I think it works best with a with a pencil because if you use it with a powder, like on top of a powder, which I've got brow powder in my brows today, I find that this moves it too much and it creates like weird streaks and lines and stuff. So I actually ended up stopping using that in my project pan because I just found that it was annoying to use. It was fine with a sturdy pencil, but with something like a brow powder, I find it annoying but the gel itself does hold your brows in place quite well. Um, I just think that, yeah, I don't wanna use it anymore because it doesn't work with my current brow, brow routine. But um, yeah, 
there's that. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it because this brow pencil, I didn't like the shape of it. I didn't find you could do proper definition. I'd sort of go in and um, fill in the tail of my brow and then I'd go in with an angle brush um, and a powder anyway to sort of um, do the front. So it's not... I used it to use it up. I wouldn't repurchase it. Then lastly, I'm throwing out a product that I don't like. This is just the Boing, um, Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. I'm throwing it out because there are... Um, the Boing Concealer, the original formula, used to be really high coverage, but, but then they turned all their pot concealers into the Boing range and then they had different types. This airbrush one is not very good coverage. It's a little bit greasy. I don't see the point of it. It doesn't cover things. I thought this was a heavy duty one. And I was like, awesome. And I went to use it and I'm like, wait, this is just moving my foundation around. It's not actually covering anything. So I don't see the point of this. It doesn't do anything for me. So I'm chucking it out. All right, guys, those are the products that I used up in the last month or so. And what I do now is I'll tally up how much all of this stuff was valued at so I know what sort of value I'm getting out of using up all these products. Um, I probably won't include this though because I didn't actually use it up. It was just a sample and I don't like it, so it's going. Um, but everything else that I used up um, is valued at this amount. So what I'm going to be doing at the end of the year is tallying the whole amount up for the year and then breaking down like how many foundations I used, how many cleansers I used. So just as like a recap of what I've used in the last year. So that should actually help me maybe next year know uh, what I can purchase more of uh, because I use it quicker, what I shouldn't be purchasing too much of. Um, and it's just like a recap of what I've used up. So that's what's going to be happening. But um, yeah, until then, I'll see you later. Bye guys.